Hello, hello friends. It is I again. You guys, I wanted to pop in here really quickly and talk about trolls. And when I say trolls, I don't just mean like online internet trolls. I mean real life trolls, people in your real life that, um, you know, bully you, harass you, talk shit. Um, they're just being hateful. They're being critical in a, you know, malicious way. Uh, people who misgender you, who call you out of your name, whatever it may be. Um, because I see that a lot of us trans women, we deal with harassment quite a bit, you know, and it could be anybody from, you know, a person at the store clocking you or saying something rude to you or somebody online who decides to just say something nasty to you in a comment. Um, and this is a piece of advice that was really helpful to me when I was like 17 or 18. And I remember, uh, at the time, one of my best friend's friends, who was a little bit older, she was a woman in her 40s, um, you know, she asked me, she's like, how do you deal with people being nasty towards you? And at the time, you know, being a younger person, I didn't really have an answer for that um, because it hurt my feelings. And I was still going through it quite a bit. You know, I'm, I'm older now. I don't really put myself um, in scenarios where I would get harassed or, um, it just doesn't happen anymore. You know, I've been in my transition long enough. Um, fortunately that it doesn't really get brought up a lot. Um, but there was a time I would say maybe the f first five or six years of my transition where it happened constantly. And so we were talking about that and she was like, you know, you really should just kind of adopt a mindset where you are the more compassionate one the more empathetic one, the more understanding one. And when that doesn't work for you, just you either have to assume that people are jealous. Um, it could be jealous of how beautiful you are. It could be jealous of the fact that you're living your truth and some people will never get to experience that. Um, and also be empathetic of the fact that some people are ignorant. Some people are very close-minded. Um, and I think when people are close-minded in general about something like trans women or trans people, um, they tend to be close-minded about a lot of things in their life. And so you kind of have to be empathetic in the sense that they're missing out on a lot in their lives and they don't really care to understand about things. Um, oh my God, you guys, I just passed by my childhood home and uh, the neighbor's house, they like, pour it down completely so that's a little weird and sad and bittersweet um but anyways like I was saying um you know it's I know it sounds really difficult and almost pointless or useless kind of advice to say that but I really do think that it's important to find a coping mechanism or uh, a strategy to let these things not affect you as much obviously we're human and things are going to get under our skin and people are going to hurt our feelings um but what i mean when i say this is we shouldn't let it fester and we shouldn't let it really tear us down to the point where we start to um even question our own you know self-worth or um, our own characters or whatever it may be um i think it needs to be something that you can easily comprehend process and get over um and I really I really had a hard time with that you know before uh but at the time when I transitioned also I wasn't there wasn't a lot of social media there was MySpace and things like that but I don't there wasn't really Facebook and if there was I wasn't really on it um and so there wasn't uh, I feel like there wasn't as much information and resources and support at that time because things have really shifted quite fast um, in a short amount of time. But with that being said, um, I think it's just really important to remember that some people are really stupid. They're really ignorant. They don't really know any better. That's how they were raised. So in their, you know, small scope of, of things that they understand and things that they've seen, we are something that they just can't fathom. 
Um, and I think people come around and some people can be educated and some people can be taught and some people can do better and some people just refuse to. Um, and that doesn't mean that you have to stay in their lives and be the person trying to make them understand if it's not good for your mental health, then you've got to let them go. Um, when I transitioned, I was 16 or 17. Um, but I came out as gay very early. I was like 11 or 12. And then I started, well, I actually let my family know that I was going to start transitioning around 15. Um, I had let them know that I was trans and that I wanted to live my life as a woman. And even at that time for me being as young as I was, I don't know if it was naivete. I don't know if it was the fact that I was oblivious to life and the consequences of things, but I really didn't care um, of who would say anything regarding my life, you know? I was at the point, I think, at that time where if I had lost family or if I had lost friends, um, I was willing to do that and pay that price because I think even though I was, I was so young, I also was aware that, you know, it's common sense, you know, if someone's not going to be good for you, you got to let them go. I know it's harder said than done, but you know, I don't know. It took me 12 years to get my dad to come around and he's there now. Um, you know, but that's my father. And even in the beginning, he wasn't nasty about anything. So we've had our issues. Uh, we've gotten past them and I'm so happy. And it's nice to have my dad in my life, you know? So, um, yeah, I strongly urge everyone who is dealing with that to find ways to remind yourself and to really believe, um, that you're not doing anything wrong. You're just living your life. You're just existing. And some people just can't, you know, seem to understand that. They can't seem to comprehend who we are. And that's okay. You know, you're not there to, you don't have to be their teacher. You don't have to tolerate anything. Uh, you don't have to entertain anyone. So, um, I don't even know where I was going with that. But anyways, regardless... I love you guys. I will see you again soon. I am in the Christmas spirit and I've got my little mama Santa Claus shirt. And um, yeah, hopefully this Christmas is nice. I will see you guys all soon. Bye bye. Love you.